Listeners be advised. The Holiloquy podcast discuss matters related to the human experience and many that are sexual in nature. Due to this, some conversations may surround triggering topics such as sexual violence, self-harm, abuse, and much more. Please be advised, a list of crisis and psychological resources will be available in the show notes of this episode. With that said, let's get started with the show. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention please as we go through the following safety instructions. In the event that there is a loss of cabin pressure, oxygen mask will drop from the overhead. Please remain seated until oxygen is fully depleted. Please remain seated until oxygen is fully depleted. Please remain seated until oxygen is fully depleted. Really, it's all oh, yeah. we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but look, the dancing, I, I, I approve the uh, shoulder work that you, you was getting something. You the legit, the you did. Oh my God. <laughs> I'll take that back. <laughs> you know what, y'all? Thank y'all so much for coming into the whole little podcast. The show is over now. I apologize, but this motherfucker that's <laughs> on this other side of this damn screen, I just can't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I could have been a whole cap out here. Just show the shit. I'm done. I'm show the shit. I am telling your dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling your dad. <laughs> I'm I'm sick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, professional. Breathe. Breathe. Introduce the show. Introduce the show. That's what you need to do right now. <laughs> <laughs> hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to the Holiloquy Podcast, where we step out and uh, speak about sexuality. This is your favorite host, Vernon T. Scott, also known as Slater Jackson. And for my little freaky motherfuckers, Sebastian Adams. On today's episode, we're bringing it back. We're twerking some ass. We're grinding on the fucking table and grinding on a motherfucking mm. pole. I don't care what the hell you're doing because it is another segment of Love Song Dissection. And mm. today, I have this motherfucker, Hakeem. Mm. Yep. Who I'm no longer going to claim as a twin after today. <clears throat> Aha. <laughs> I mean, it's still going to happen. <laughs> I, I don't like this man, y'all. Um, <laughs> we don't like Hakeem. It's um, the fuck. We don't talk about Hakeem. What we, the fuck? We don't talk about Hakeem. We gonna talk about Bruno now. I fuss with you, Bruno. This this motherfucker Hakeem. We just cannot. We oh can God. and not. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared. I can't. Uh, so in, in today's episode, the songs that we'll be talking about, Hakeem's choices are "Wet the Bed" by Chris Brown, "Body" mm. by Sid, and for myself, "Come Through" by her. So, oh my God, this man in his dancing, y'all. I, <laughs> I've never seen him dance before, but I'm, I'm mad that I have not seen him dance until this moment. I mean, you you have seen me dance. You were just drunk that one time. Okay, I've been I've been drunk a lot of times in <laughs> undergrad. So it's, you, you have to that one time, that many times, like. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. So, Hakeem, why did you choose that sexy ass song, Wet the Bed? Man, let me tell you. So, Wet the Bed, the reason why I chose that song is because, one, I can imagine myself giving head to the song. Mm. Like, it's something It's something about the, the, the way the, the sound hits my ears and, like, Chris Brown just saying, like, I ain't afraid to touch. Get through. Wait, how's it go? I ain't afraid to get what well, and I need to look up the words my damn self. I ain't afraid to drown. <laughs> yeah. If that means I ain't I'm afraid to drown. Your, oh shit. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, I can just imagine myself giving head to it. Like it's a perfect song. That is a perfect song that I was just like give head to. Um, it's very sensual. Um, and like 
it something about Chris Brown's voice and like when he starts singing about doing sex, it don't feel like he's singing about doing sex. It seems like he's like talking about love. I I could give you that. It definitely sounds like <clears throat> a lot of love making within his um in this song. And uh wait, have you given the head to this song? I have not yet. I think I've tried, but it just was like the person wasn't really into getting head. So I was like, oh, damn, Mr. Um, mm-hmm. It's about to devour, but you don't want, you're not serving dinner today. So I, um, I'm sorry that happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but like this, you know, when I when I hear the song without paying any attention to the lyrics, I think of um, you know love making. I was like mm-hmm. fucking, but when you actually do read the lyrics, it is more on the side of I'm eating this pussy and I'm going to enjoy this. I'm diving into this, uh, but mm-hmm. you know when it comes to like the um, double meanings of things, I forgot the actual term of it, but um, double entendres. Yeah, the double entendres that um, you have in you know lyrics, even if both of them is sexual, you can have this as being fucking or giving head. But mm-hmm. I, I, I like your perspective of giving. I, you know what? I think I should try that. Mm-hmm. I haven't thought about playing this song. Uh, while giving head to someone there was a song that i did have for that um Mm -hmm. and that was bad by um, wale but um that was just i just want to have sex or give head to this song that happened i enjoyed it um Mm. but i haven't thought about wet the bed in that sense oh yeah because like in wet the bed like i'm gonna put your legs behind your head then i'll make you wet the bed like yeah it's like it's like directions like almost it is now now you put in that way it really is directions like like when i when i was thinking about this in terms of fucking putting mm-hmm. the head putting the uh, legs behind the heads and just getting straight into that and diving mm-hmm. deep into that and mm-hmm. i mean like deep digging and not <laughs> necessarily deep, deep stroking if you will. but putting the legs behind the head and i'm eating that's a different kind of energy oh yeah that means you're doing something right like <laughs> like if she don't, if she don't sound like a caribou, if she, <laughs> if she don't sound, if she ain't, you know, doing some contortionist type shit, then it's like, yo, like you, you ain't really doing nothing. Like you just having a quick little, quick little session. Like it's like a, a little powwow rather than a conversation. Like, you know, now, now that I look deeper into the lyrics with the mindset of, um, giving head it, it gives me it gives me a different perspective on certain lyrics like um it has you know you don't know uh, what you're in for about to get inside your mental um mm-hmm. you know i'm just thinking you know get inside your head you know <laughs> but mm-hmm. you know if you think about how people you know use i'm um, getting brain and things like that that mm-hmm. gives you a different meaning to that so I'm really about to get all up in your head and I'm giving you head. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm going to please you in such a way that all you're going to be thinking about is me. Mm-hmm. I'm already, I'm already, I'm already in between your legs. <laughs> and not to mention, like, my thing, my thing is foreplay, right? Like mm-hmm. I love foreplay. So this whole entire song is like just foreplay. Like as I put kids both sets of lips, right? Mm-hmm. you can be talking about the lower lips you can talk about lips on your face like it just depends mm-hmm. um like and also all the like all the lyrics itself is something that you can just text back and forth like it's a whole text conversation like when you get to that dough you know you know it's you know you, what you're gonna get mm-hmm. but the com- the conversation leading up to that is definitely the song in its entirety Yes. You know, I like how you mentioned um, text conversation because <clears throat> I'm probably going to bring that back up when we start talking about um, come through. But mm-hmm. it, it does. It, I, I I can see that. It's like, OK, so, baby, what you going to do to me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just let you know, I ain't afraid to drown. <laughs> and mm-hmm. That means I'm deep up in your ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, I'll drink you down, sipping on your body, <laughs> and put wet, wet splash emoji, splash emoji, uh, sweating emoji, <laughs> drip, drip, drip. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. Now, so you know, when when it comes to Luda's part, I, it, it's mm-hmm. great. I'm not. I'm not going to say it's not. It is a amazing 
I like what he um, brings to the table. And I, I love how he mentioned Tony Braxton. And, <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> um, like, uh, Make Me Hot is a great song. I love that song. Um, mm-hmm. But there's this one line that, you know, my mind is like, let me paint things in a, a queer space. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so he says, you can't deny you want to break my back in two. So I'm like, all right, are we talking to Chris Brown? <laughs> wow. Luda, who's breaking that back in for you, fam? <laughs> Let me know. I'm here, no, I don't, I'm here for whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he got he gotta like, he gotta make sure he's talking to the whole audience, not just some people. Look, it, I'm like, okay, but I also <laughs> get this in a heteronormative way. Cause you know, if you're out here fucking. Some people need to realize the person that you're fucking might be fucking you back. <laughs> right. And I, I always aim for somebody. I fuck back. I don't care. Um, <laughs> if you're not if you're not ready to meet my energy, that's on you. But it's like, I get that in that terms in hetero, heteronormative lens mm-hmm. that are you, I'm about to put it down. I need you to be willing to break my fucking back <laughs> mm-hmm. with what the fuck I'm about to bring to the fucking table. So... Mm-hmm. I see it both ways, but I'm not going to say I won't be upset to see a porn <laughs> with Luna and Chris Brown. <laughs> Look, there's already there's already probably somebody writing a fanfic right now. Look, and if you are, please send that shit to me. <laughs> He'll proofread it for you. I proofread. <laughs> I like that. Will be a very interesting sight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, I mean, that. Uh-huh. oh, uh, <laughs> I mean, sorry to take you out of, out of your delusion there, but thank you for taking me out of that because I was going to be in there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but also, just like um, thinking about it from like a, I guess, heteronormative perspective, pegging mm. that's a thing, that is a thing, and I'm mm-hmm. here for that too. So, Luda. If you out here getting pegged and you try to release that video to uh, the Holistic <laughs> Podcast just for myself to see, I'm okay with that too. <laughs> like, come, come through, come through. <laughs> if you want a third in there, <laughs> you, you like Vernon? What's up? Hey, yo, we're, we're both, we're both Georgia peaches, motherfucker. We can, we can get some juices popping. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> and the crazy thing, I don't have that uh, much of a thing for Luda, which is funny. But it's like we're on this, uh, we're we're talking about it here. Might as well. Uh, it's funny <laughs> that it's funny because like it's two light skinned men like kind of singing this whole song. I'm like, what? <laughs> like I don't know what it is about some women, but some women just like, oh, I can't, I can't be with like a light skinned man. I'm like, why not? <laughs> really, why not? Like so well, the, the the image of it these days is they too sensitive. Get your sense of the man now. A lot yeah. of men need to be sensitive. It's cool I mean, to be sensitive. Now it ain't Not cool to be popping. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't <laughs> cool to be like popping folks' tires and like showing up on their doorstep ready to choke somebody out. That's not cool. Mm-mm. But you know, just be in touch. Like, oh, man, you hurt my feelings. Like, <laughs> you do you want him to cheat or you want him to cry? Like, which one you want? <laughs> you know, that's a good question because. If, if if you're out there and you don't want a sensitive uh, man, um, and you, I'm uh, hetero, norm, heterosexuals, homosexuals, I don't care, bisexuals. If you're out here and you are dating men and uh, are masculine presenting persons, if if you do you really want them to be sensitive or do you want them to cheat? I want to know. Comment. Let me know what you think. Would you rather a cheater or someone that's actually sensitive and cries? Uh, I would. I would personally prefer someone that's um willing to cry rather than cheat because look if you out here cheating i'm just gonna leave you anyway so it is what it is and then find out who the fuck you uh cheating on me with and fuck them for you whoa and then What's see you the video with their consent of course to let you know this this the fuck happened <laughs> you fucked around with those fucked rounds and both of y'all got fucked <laughs> literally I mean, you know that that's a whole that's a whole that's a whole fetish right there like somebody cheating and then like the revenge cheating and then like sending the video and shit that's a whole fetish my guy i believe it mm-hmm. child now somebody's gonna be like burn you toxic and uh, <laughs> toxic toxicity is a fetish baby 
Look. Future. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Which is interesting. Why didn't you choose a, uh, a future song? Well, because he not <laughs> like, why? Yeah, he don't have any love songs. He That's don't. Like, I mean, he has like, okay, he has a song with Dave Loaf called Hey There. Um, then he got turn on turn on the lights. He he also did come out with a recent album that has some le- some love songs on there, but mm. they real toxic. <laughs> like, well, you know, toxic love is that good love, I guess. <clears throat> I don't know. Like crazy crazy pussy is the best kind of pussy from what I hear. That's what I heard. Mm-hmm. I don't want crazy though. I take mm. mediocre before I take crazy. I don't want nobody coming around popping up my fucking tires. I don't Hell want nobody no. shooting up at my house because you thought something was going on that wasn't going on. I don't need somebody to be all up in my phone looking into trying to figure out if I'm cheating. Guess what? I will tell you. <laughs> yeah. Look, I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I think we should really see other people. Actually, I know we should see other people. <laughs> You know, I'm about to start seeing other people today. I'll let you figure out what the fuck you want to do. Um, mm-hmm. But I know what I'm going to do. And I'm just being up front with you right now. Mm-hmm. And this is just why you all know someone, <laughs> someone's like, yeah, Verna is really toxic as fuck. No, I'm she honest. is. I'm honest. <laughs> I had to stop. I had to stop myself today because some girl was uh, some girl had asked, like, not to me, but she was just asking in general. She was just like, do I really come off as like uh, hostile or whatever? Blah, blah, blah. And I said, yeah. And it took me, it got to a certain point in the conversation where I was, it took everything in me to be like, so what you trying to do? You trying to like hook up or what you like, why did you ask this? Like, <laughs> and why are you talking? Like, why are you talking to me? You don't talk to me at all. Like, the fuck? <laughs> mm, mm. Well, look, you might as well ask. I mean, I already sent the message, but like, you trying to like link up and, me look at you look at me and we just observe each other while we sipping on tea like what what you trying ooh, to do ooh, look at how came setting some shit up about to wet some beds <clears throat> <clears throat> what's that line again i ain't afraid to drown mm. i ain't afraid to oh drown. Wait. if that means i'm deep up in I mean, what, what's that word lord what's the, mm, ocean hallelujah <laughs> mm, sun touch me right oh sun just touch me <laughs> whoo whoo Girl, you're coming right now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. These are your lyrics, chest. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I like that you just brought that one up. That 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 it does make this song a lot more sensual, though. My head mm-hmm. to your chest, feeling your heartbeat, girl. Mm-hmm. That means we got this bed soaking wet, and I hope y'all wash these sheets afterwards. Um <laughs> And also have a, a protector uh, sheet on the bed. They make those people there are they are perfect. Or, throw the whole know. mattress out. <laughs> <laughs> throw the whole mattress out. <laughs> oh, mattress smelling like eight day old pussy. Oh, smell like mm. a whole fish market. <laughs> <laughs> Wash the sheets, people. <laughs> Why my mind goes into things like that for real. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, this is why this is why i cannot uh, listen to this many like sexual sex-based songs because mm-hmm. i'm like okay this sounds great i love what they're saying um going to wet the bed soak soak the sheets and everything but i'm <laughs> sorry i i my mind is going to be like so are we going to wash these sheets afterwards chris brown let me know after you got your bed soaking wet how long was it and you until you like swapped out those sheets how long did it take i'm pretty sure he took the sheets off like i don't know what it is i don't know what it is about niggas but niggas always know what to do when they about to fuck like they're like all right let me just take these sheets off or let me get a towel or like let me make sure she at this angle so it don't get on me or some shit like that I'm like, how y'all niggas know the fuck, but y'all can't fucking do math? I don't get it. <laughs> I'm done. Not they can't do math. But you know, <clears throat> some of them don't even know how to um, properly wash sheets, which is the crazy thing for me. How? I'm like, if you, like, if anything, if you know you're going to have multiple sex partners, you have to have multiple sheets. Yeah. You just have to. Uh, and just having sex on the same sheets on a regular basis, that's kind of, mm, okay. Uh, <laughs> there's fluids. Uh, <laughs> Sir, there's fluids on there. Give me those but sheets. At, at least you got your butt back broken in two. <laughs> <laughs> in two. 
<laughs> oh, Luda, I'm serious about that film. I'm serious. Um, <laughs> let's go over to this other song, though. Um, Body by Sid. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say I enjoyed it. Actually, why did you choose this song? What did you like about it? And then, you know, I'll, I'll come in. So the reason why I like this song is because one, Sid the Kid. First off, um, I can't, I don't remember, but I know that Sid is like not your typical girly girl. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Sid identifies as like non-binary or she's just lesbian or something like that. But when I, like when I imagine a, a black female or female I don't know. Now I need to know if Sid is like non-binary, <laughs> like, because I don't want to misgender somebody. Oh, she's a gay black woman. Okay, so Sid being a gay black woman, like this is what I imagine black women who are gay. This is what I imagine them talking, like how they talk to each other, like when they're trying to get get down and shit, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm just like. Damn, say it like tell give me give me an eye into that life. <laughs> like I need to, to know. romance somebody with language like this. Exactly. Exactly. Like I wanna know what is what is like. Let me let me hear it. Like <clears throat> when I cause all right, the, the melody of the song already captures you when you start playing and I love that. Mm-hmm. Um and the the line that I love the most is your body's taking over you. And the reason I like that so much is because I'm thinking about whenever you're in uh, uh, having sex with somebody and it gets so pleasurable that you are out of your body, that you are allowing your body to do whatever it wants to do. You're not thinking about it. You're just in the moment. You're in the action. You're just feeling it all. And you're just enjoying everything that is being done to you and what you're doing to that other person. Mm-hmm. And that's what I get when I read that line. She's like, so like, let me read the line, bef- um, these three lines before that. Sure. So um, <clears throat> give it to me. Don't hold back, babe. If your friends c- could see you right now, no line, no lying, girl. I bet they want to be you right now. Your body's taking over you. Your body's taking over you. Like, just think about that. Like, you are on... <laughs> You're on autopilot at this point, Mm -hmm. like to be pleased in such a way that you switch into autopilot, motherfucker. Give me that every sexual experience. (laughs) Yeah. Not only that, like verse. Okay, so verse two: the bed is your stage. Take it away. Put on the show. Put on play. Don't ask, babe. You know I'm your number one fan, babe. So get those cameras rolling right now. I'm directing, and I really want to see you act out. Let your body take over you your body's taking over you like that whole verse right there is like an oh it's like an ode to the person that you're that you're with mm. like set like when you're having a sexual encounter or you know with your partner or whatever it's not just like you, you're not just there for yourself you're there for that other person as well yes. so sometimes you got to encourage them sometimes you got to be like damn girl i like the way you're working that ass like you know you're throwing it back like that i like that shit like you got to Hype them up. You do. And- it, it, like, you know, <clears throat> like, there's so many people who are just like, I, I want to have sex like a porn star or whatever the case may be. You know, I want to mm-hmm. be uh, sexual like they are in the um, in porn. This mm-hmm. is literally telling you mm-hmm. we're in that porn. We're in that play. We're putting on a show. Mm-hmm. But this, at the end of the day, this is your show. This is your, you have ownership of this. The bed is your fucking stage. Mm-hmm. This is your opportunity to do whatever you want to do because you are the star of this show. And I'm here to enjoy your show. I'm here mm-hmm. to enjoy your body mm-hmm. and let your body take over you. Your body's taking over you. <sighs> and not to mention, like, as a person who's like kind of dom oriented, mm-hmm. like I like I like my I like my women to feel like they are the center of my attention, like. They have their captive, like I'm their captive. I'm there to watch them. Mm. Like I like them to feel that way because when they feel like that, then I know they're going to give it back to me a hundred percent. Like <laughs> it, it's like, you, you got to give that reciprocal energy, man. Like, and if somebody's not giving that to me, then it's just like, all right, I know what I'm dealing with. Mm. 
And <clears throat> I think with this song, it it like you mentioned earlier, um, how it's how sex is for both people, but mm-hmm. it really is making them the pinnacle of the attention. They're the focal point. Like I want like as as someone who's acted before, it is mm-hmm. pleasurable being in front of other people. You um you love that. It gives you a, a type of energy that you absorb mm-hmm. within you, that you absorb from your audience. Uh, most definitely, um, they're all looking at you, all eyes are on you, and you're just performing for them. You know that your actions are pleasing those uh, people who are viewing you, but their viewership is something that is pleasing you too. And that's the that's the, uh, sense that I get from the language that's coming from body is that... Mm-hmm. This is a mutual thing, but I want you to know that at the end of the day, you are the star. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You are the one that's entertaining. You are the one who is um, getting pleased, but mm-hmm. you are also the one that is pleasing me because guess what? I'm the one that's watching you. I'm the one that's engaged with, with the content that you're providing for me. Mm-hmm. I'm the one. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> I'm the one that chose you, baby. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is such a nice and eloquently sexual song. <laughs> I know, right? And that's why I like Sid, because Sid be like, Sid be putting some shit out there. I'd be like, damn, like what? Oh shit. Like I didn't even think about it like that. Like, damn, see, like shit. You sure you sure? <laughs> like <laughs> so I'd be like, damn, I was like, damn, I wish I was a woman. So I'd be like, all right, see, just just lay it on me. <laughs> Look, let me let me experience this energy that you're giving to. <laughs> like, exactly. Like if this is what you're bringing through lyrics, I'm mm. I'm willing to see what you're going to bring in person. Like, like my God, <laughs> shit. Like the the most sexual thing in this song to me is that um, mm-hmm. uh, uh, the stanzas that are saying, "Baby, we can take it slow. Say say my name." Don't let go. I can hear your body when I pull your hair. Oh my God, that line. Uh, what's my name? Girl, I swear I can hear your body. Babe. Your body is talking to me. <laughs> and I hear your body. I'm, I'm Sid, what's up? <laughs> See? It's the chorus. It's that chorus. He's like, damn. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> like, it's something... It's just that the whole, the entire course itself is, again, it's directive. It's also, it's like, it, it highlights the, the dynamic of power play. Like you're giving it, taking it back, giving it, taking it back. And it's like, a, it's like a conversation. Mm, yes. It, that's, that's why I will have to bring this back with BDSM. I'm always going back there. Is the reason I love that most definitely when it comes to the sub, um, the sub dom uh, relationship is that mm-hmm. the yes, the dom is the person that is in control figuratively, mm-hmm. the person in control, but mm-hmm. is really the sub that's in control because right. you can't do anything outside of what they um, have told you you can do. You're exactly. just the implementation of the pleasure. And even though you're getting pleasure from that, but that is your role in this situation. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, that sub is given all the control here, like the person on the stage. I'm the one who has the say so. I'm the one who has the uh, stage. I'm the one Mm -hmm. who's putting on the uh, play. I'm the one that's giving you the experience that you require, that you're asking for. And I'm glad that you get to enjoy it. Let my body take over. (laughs) <laughs> yes it yes it if y'all have not listened to this song yet listen to this damn song you know you know that's all i can say <laughs> <laughs> so let's go on over to my little selection uh which is uh, is by her also featuring chris brown that nigga's back <laughs> The Holiloquy podcast focuses on the variability of sexual expression. When it comes to sexual expression, we often depend on pornography to illustrate how one must perform sexually. For those who have not learned this by now, the stuff you see in porn is not real. Pornography provides a singular perspective of sexual expression that is not often the reality we see during our own sexual encounters. 
The Holiloquy Podcast is a conversation that takes you outside of the compressed box of what many know about sex. Some of the topics we discuss include kinks, condom usage, status disclosure, and past sexual experiences. The Holiloquy Podcast steps out on sexual norms and recognizes that the norm is not the only normal. Subscribe today and join the conversation. My little selection, uh, which is, uh, is by her, also featuring Chris Brown, that nigga's back. <laughs> <laughs> so come through this song when i first heard it uh, i'm not even going to lie it has it was recent as in um the first time i heard it was like near the end of 2021 and ever since then i'm like this song is giving me what i need and i hate the Mm -hmm. fact that her was not around when i was in undergrad because this would have been one of those songs i would have had sex to as well as it capsulate Mm -hmm my experience in undergrad because i've had moments where i'm just like look i'm in your town and i just want to see it what's up uh i actually have um i don't i can't consider us fuck buddies uh anymore or even friends with benefits but i had someone that i was talking to like in atlanta and Mm -hmm. every time i'll be in atlanta either we don't hook up or we do hook up i'm just like look i'm in your city Uh, And I never really told this person uh, when I was coming in advance because their response rate is trash. Yeah. Last minute always works best. So, look, I'm in your Mm -hmm. city and I'm just trying to see what's up. Do you want me to come through? Do you want do you are we fucking or not? What's up? (laughs) (laughs) Sometimes it's like, yes, come through. Sometimes it's like we it's just not going to work this trip and that's cool, whatever. But Mm -hmm. Like when I heard this song, it just brought me back to the, that place of traveling, having hoes in different area codes. Thank you, Luda. Um, mm. <laughs> See, I always got to bring it back to Luda. <laughs> Throwback. <laughs> like, <laughs> and making trips to go see people, to hook up with them and just enjoy life. That that's um, That feeling of just like, or even a planned hookup. Like, look, sometimes... I'm going, like, if I know I'm going to be um, visiting Atlanta or if I was going to Memphis and I had a hoe in Memphis, I no longer have a hoe in Memphis, but um, (laughs) if I had that hoe in Memphis, like, look, uh, I actually have to be in Memphis for, like, a uh, a job-related thing or a Mm family-related thing. I don't have that, but... um, (laughs) what's up this is what day i'm going to be in town are you going to be there or not like what's up and come to town we hook up and it's gucci everything's great Mm -hmm. so listen to that song just brings back a lot of those uh experiences and a good bit of those were positive experiences so yes her um what what was your your perspective of the song well from my perspective of it it sounds really it sounds like you know a girl like a girl really trying to shoot her shot right Mm. like trying to tell like hey look i don't really have to do like it's like how do i say this it's almost like a girl saying hey i'm in your city what's up you trying to come through like bring your ass over in like a like almost like a nigga (laughs) Mm. (laughs) um and it's also like you said it's if I if I had this song, because it's much, it's funny that you mentioned like having different hoes and area codes, because like I'm actually doing a conference uh, in August that I'm going to. There's a girl that's like next door, like in the next state over, mm-hmm. but it's kind of close. And she was like, "Yeah, I could just you can just come out and see me, or like I can come out and see you." And I was like, oh, "Okay, yeah, come on, yes. come, on. come on." So that's I can uh, not to mention she on my list. So like for all <laughs> for all of you who don't know. I have a list of zodiac signs that I'm trying to run through. <laughs> I'm done. I also support. <laughs> yeah, like she's gonna she's gonna check that Aries box, so we're gonna see what two Aries could do in the bedroom. <laughs> I'm done. Now, now she has to represent for all the Aries. Uh- <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm, look, I, I see no issues with that because look, I've had plenty of lists that I just have people that I would just like let's let's check this off and see what the experience will be like. Um, most definitely when it comes to Greek, did the rainbow? It was, mm-hmm. it was all right. Um, <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> um, now 
Uh, earlier I said, uh, like what, what, when I was talking about text messages, this song, um, looking at the lyrics and going through, it, it looks like a text conversation, honestly. Um, mm-hmm. And like even that first one, the, the first stanza, I'm just like, I can see this in two different ways. Like you have that uh, conversation of, you know, I want to introduce something to them, but I kind of want to let them know it was kind of a struggle getting here. Um, so I hope you see my struggle as a, a means for you to stop everything else that you had planned <laughs> mm-hmm. to come see me. So let me lead off with hardship. So here's sending the text message. So I I almost missed my flight today, but I look good, even though I feel shitty. Mm-hmm. But good news, I just got back out this way. Um, look. I know you already got plans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can you call them off? Like for real, could you call them off for me? <laughs> and now this is when it gets into the other person. <sighs> You're always going on and on. Got it. Got it all. Ask me why I never leave. I don't mm-hmm. go out much. Mm-hmm. Like what's going on? You you come to my city. <laughs> Hit me up out of the blue um asking me telling me about how you almost missed your flight but you look good that's cute and all but you know Mm -hmm. i don't leave the house you know i don't like to get out you know i don't got nothing (laughs) playing oh shit but i I do like that that uh concept of look i'm here call off all your fucking plans come see me hey and you know what the most blackest thing in the most blackity black thing in this whole song right now is Call my homegirl. Tell tell your best friend he can slide too. Like, you know, look, I, you know, if a dude get that message, he's like, oh shit. He's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, I can already hear that conversation now. Hey, bro, she ready. She said she got one for you. Like, <laughs> That's a power play, though. That's a power play. That is. is a power play because you can't be like, oh, I'm, I'm I'm hanging out with my boys. Well, guess what? I got girls in the city. Mm-hmm. I got friends here. They're 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 down to smoke. They're down to fuck. They're down for they're down for the play. Like yeah, you making excuses. What mm-hmm. you going to do? Are you going to pull up with a dick? Or are you going to shrivel up? Mm. I want mm. hard dick around here, not limp dick. Where you at? Where you at? <laughs> <laughs> it's a power play. I do like that. Mm. I do like that. <laughs> Most blackity black thing in this whole song. Not I'm chilling on the west side. Nah, I mean anybody can chill on the west side. Like you're right, you're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> now the one thing that really gets me is the on the low a remote location. We we we're going to a remote location. What what the, what remote location? Like <laughs> I, I, I told you, that's why I'm just saying. Like it feels like a girl trying to like talk like a dude to a dude because only dudes say corny shit like that. True. <laughs> like. We going we going to a, a remote location. Like it makes it sound fancy, but it's just like your house. Like <laughs> literally, that's I'm pulling up to your house. It's not like I haven't been over here. Exactly. It's like the the the, the, the lies. Like don't get me wrong, I love this song, but it's like when you look at the transition and the lines, it mm-hmm. doesn't tell a story that I want it, that it should be telling. Mm-hmm. Like okay, I'm calling my home girl, and you can tell your best friend the slot too cool but now you're talking about um you only kick it with a tight crew so is the crew gonna be there too like mm. we all out here trying to live our best lives which is great but what are, what are we doing here what i see that's what i'm saying it's like it's like it's that realistic back and forth between somebody who's like oh i really made plans or like mm. I'm, I'm trying to i'm trying to fuck but like at the same time this is a bad time because i don't really feel like fucking like i like i as a person on the other receiving end of this this entire text message, I understand. Like sometimes <laughs> I'm just like minding my own business, and I've been flirting with this girl for a minute, and like today I just so happened to like have some stuff planned, and then it's like, hey, where you at, or what you doing? I'm like, what do you mean what I'm doing? I'm doing what the fuck I planned. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but can you call them all? Call off those plans? I'm like, hell, fuck no. I, Look, I, I don't know if anyone else is out there is like this, but when I plan something, I want to see it through. Mm. If I plan to fuck, I'm coming over to fuck. If I plan to, to watch TV, 
I plan to watch TV. If I'm trying to play the game, I'm going to play the game. If anything else stands in the way of that, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I get that. I get that because, like, <clears throat> I, 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 will, I have to be honest, I've been guilty of um, the half-assed conversation of not really setting up a plan but trying to gauge to see exactly where another person's at and figure out okay are you trying to hook up or are you mm -hmm. just having conversation because you're, you're you're going to the sex zone and mm -hmm. if we we're trying to go to the sex zone we can be fucking i i'm cool with that but mm -hmm. are you just trying to entertain yourself until you fall asleep i just want to know so i can do people really do that some people really do do that that's so weird to, welcome to queer spaces wow y'all y'all queer people are it's weird too much. like people the flake the flake ratio is way too high maybe i'm history. queer i don't know because like it's crazy here's the thing Vern. i don't know if maybe i maybe i give queer safe space energy because like most of the most of the girls that i deal with they got some sort of queer in them like <laughs> there was a there's a whole like there's a girl in atlanta who's queer and she like was like, I don't really like men that much, but something about you. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I'm just being me. <laughs> it's 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 the it's the feel that you're in. You're you're exuding that energy. They they feel it. They feel it. But yeah, it's it's a mess out here in these streets, and that's why I don't deal with these motherfuckers. I'm just like, look, just what are your intentions? You want to fuck or not? No, okay, <laughs> cool. Because I'm not I'm not dealing with any of this drama. I give people like 30 minutes to an hour to pull up. If they not mm -hmm. pulled up, I just tell them enjoy the rest of your night. I'm going to sleep or wow. I'm watching TV. <laughs> like you were not originally in the plan for my fucking day and i didn't stop my day just because you were horny and you say you wanted to pull up that's that's the queer spaces at this point <laughs> mm, 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 mm. it's a lot of flaky ass motherfuckers and i just don't i don't fool around with the shits uh I, i'm a man of action and if you about are not about action. that action you you fucking around with the wrong one <laughs> i hear you like if i get a text like this conversation I'm not going to lie. I have been on that other side mm -hmm. of trying to gauge exactly what the person's feeling. Mm -hmm. Are you counseling plans? Because if you counseling plans, we meeting up because yep. you, you you put in the action already and I see mm -hmm. that you committed. What's up? Yep. <laughs> we can I'm go all fucking night to make up for some shit. Exactly. But if, if I'm getting that you're not committed enough to make actions or you are just over here using flower flowery um language fluff. or a mm. lot of fluff mm. i'm just like you're wasting my time i'm watching netflix or i'm on hulu or i'm watching something on um uh crunchy roll <laughs> enjoying my fucking day and right now you're you're just sending me text messages and guess what my do not disturb just kicked in you know you don't have my time no more at eight o'clock that's when that shit kicks in and you know if, what? if if nobody if i'm not in the mood for a hip, uh, hookup by like 10 o'clock mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm not going out you have to you have to give me some massive energy mm -hmm. if you think i'm going to pull up on you for a hookup after 10 o'clock <laughs> i mean here's the thing like if i if somebody hit me up by like 10 o'clock at night was like hey we're trying to, i'm trying to hook up and shit like and they were like a like a an hour not, 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 not an hour away but like maybe 20 or uh, uh uh five minutes away or something like that i'm going there with a specific goal like i'm like i'm gonna try to make your head your, your, your feet touch the back of your neck or some shit like that because like you've bed. never done it before yeah exactly <laughs> i'm trying to like i'm trying to go to sleep over at that house and then leave with something that ain't mine like <laughs> something like that some weird kind of goal like <laughs> you gotta have goals when you're fucking like you just can't be out here you can be out here fucking willy nilly, but at the same time, having goals is fun too. <laughs> like a cheat. Facts. Look, that's that's the thing that makes my sexual experiences worth it, and I think that's also the way I change people's lives for the better. Is mm -hmm. because I go into sexual encounters with the uh, <laughs> with the goal of either uh, making this certain thing happen mm -hmm. and ensuring that thing happens. Uh, for example, okay, this is how I uh, I used to just call it making somebody my bitch. Um, <laughs> I used to be a lot more toxic back in the day. Uh, <laughs> he, was, he was pretty toxic, guys. Where and do you think I got it from? This was like, I'm so, don't you dare put that on me. You got that 
<laughs> and if if I can't have you out here cursing, then I didn't do my job right. And I mean actually cursing. Or um, if the eyes don't roll in the back of the head, I'm not doing mm-hmm. my job right. Right. If you're not squirming and the pleasure is not making you kind of want to move away um, because you're mm. not used to that much pleasure, I'm not doing my fucking job right. Right. Well, <laughs> that's where I was, <laughs> and Loki still is today. But I'm I'm a, lot, <laughs> I'm a lot more lenient because it's like I'm not giving y'all a one because you, it, a lot of y'all don't deserve it. So it's, it's facts. If you don't, if you don't come into my space with A one energy, you're not getting it. Mm-mm. No A one sauce for you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Back to this damn song. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, it 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 really does take me back to those moments of just having holes, multiple holes in different area codes. Uh, and I think that's one of the things I do like about uh, like site not sites but um mm-hmm. apps like tinder or um uh, oh especially mm-hmm. tinder like i, I there were times mm-hmm. i will purposefully uh, get the paid version so i could mm-hmm. swipe around in the city that i'm going to go to within the next week or so um mm-hmm. get my account up of potential people that i can possibly hook up with have the conversations let them know this is what i'm coming in town for like for work or whatever but i'm going to be free around these times are you going to be available if so we can have a whole ass party and what's up? Hmm. Uh, I miss my hoeing days. I, I'm i not a good hoe, apparently, because I do none of that. I just <laughs> go someplace and I just be like, oh, well, I'm here. Let's see what the fuck's <laughs> happening, I guess. Now, I will say that has happened um, before. Most definitely, it's like something work related. Mm-hmm. And uh, most definitely, if I'm not, if I don't have Tinder on my phone and not trying to put it on my phone or pay for anything, if I'm going somewhere for like um, work or family related, I'm not really on these apps to hook up with anybody. Mm. Now, um, let's say if I do log in, cause I, I do respond to messages and shit um, yeah. from like previous conversations. And now I'm in the circle of rate, the radius of swiping left, right. And all this other shit mm-hmm. match with somebody. And I'm like, um, oh, I'm here to see family, not to hook up. Or if I'm in the mood, What's up? What's, what's going on? Like, <laughs> yeah. we can make multiple things shake. What's up? Huh? <laughs> yeah. You ain't wrong. Like, oh, Jesus. This is this. Don't be out here hoeing people. That's such a bad thing. While I'm Shit. saying that, make sure you purchase your copy of The Sent You Got of How to Be a Hoe. <laughs> I mean, it, it do be helping. <laughs> But that that's what I get from um, this song, just to get back to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, okay. I think it's that time to start wrapping up this episode. So, Hakeem, do you have any um, last words or any advice that you'd like to share with the audience? Um. Yeah. You know, okay. So, I understand, like, you know, being a host is fun and all that kind of stuff, but take the time to understand yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if you connect with yourself on a level with music, um, if it's exercise or if it's something else, you know, something spiritual, connect with yourself on a, on a deeper level. Um, so that way you can bring out the best part of you. You can have those healthy relationships. You can, um, you know, get to a, a better you. So yeah. that way you can, you know, influence others around you to be a better them. Yes, yes. And just to piggyback on that, do not be out here being a hoe in trauma. No, Mm-mm. that's the worst type of hoe. Do those not. destructive hoes. Those are those are goddamn demons. Like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. don't do it. That that means being out here to dog people. That's a, that's a hoe in trauma. Being out here to get over somebody by getting under somebody else. That's out here being a hoe in trauma. Mm-hmm. Work on yourself first before you uh, out, out here hoeing <clears throat> and also mm-hmm. purchase a book. Read chapter, uh, I think that's chapter seven or chapter eight. Yep. Do what you need to do. Do the work that you need. Okay. On that note, Hakeem, thank you so much for being such an amazing person. I bow to you, good sir. 
um, nice. in respect for everyone else to my fellow hoes out here thank you all so much for listening to the whole little Quick podcast where we step out and speak about sexual sexuality just in case no one else told you this today you are beautiful you are worthy of happiness and joy you are enough and then so you may not live up to the expectations of others but that is okay you are only required to walk in your own shoes may each day you live lead you towards abundance with that said love you all and see you all next episode bye peace thank you for listening to the holiloquy podcast where we step out and speak on sexuality you can subscribe to the podcast through your favorite podcasting app and find us on the web at www.holiloquy.com that's www.h-e-a-u-x L-I-L-O-Q-U-Y dot com. Share the podcast with your friends and join the conversation.